Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. This is Joe and Lorenzo in the background. Tonight we're going to make a nice dinner and it's called pork chops and sauerkraut. And we're going to bake them. I, I usually make six pork chops, but tonight I'm going to make double because they had them on sale in Costco and they sold 12 in one package. So I bought the 12. So what I'm going to do is make the whole 12 and I'm going to give my daughter Lorenzo's mom and dad and Sophia a dinner tonight. So let's get started. First thing I want to show you is the, our ingredients. Now I'm doubling everything, so you're just going to do everything in half. And I'm in the description, you're going to find all the ingredients listed for you to do six pork chops. If you want to do 12, then you do it. Okay, I'm adding this in now. It's all drained. Spread it around a little. Now what we got here is we got applesauce and we're going to mix it with our brown sugar and mustard and a little pepper. I'm going to mix that up. And we're going to place that on here. See, we're gonna bake this, but it's more like braising. And we'll mix that up around here, like this. Maybe a spoon would be better. Mix it up good. Okay, I got it all mixed up pretty good. Spread it out nice and even, make a nice bed for the pork chops. Okay, that's all done. Now we're gonna put that aside here. And we're gonna get our saute pan out. Now what I have to do is I have to brown these up and uh, then we're going to place them on top of the bed I'll show you that in a minute okay heat this up pretty good this pan and start browning them now I'm going to start browning them up Okay, as you notice, I put them in. I didn't put any seasoning on them. I'm putting a little salt and pepper on them now when I turn it over on this side. Because you don't want to put too much salt on them. They'll blow out the liquid. And that's it. We've got to keep browning this, one, and then I'll show you what happens. Okay, you use the brown pretty good on this. So now all you do is lay them in there on top of the sauerkraut. Okay, I'm doing, ending up my browning. Here they go. That's the last of them. Now what you do with this, try to drain this a little bit. Some drill out of it. Put this on again. You can use, I use a little white wine, but you can use water if you want to have wine. Let's try to get up all these nice bits. Drain off the alcohol. And it cleans your pan at the same time. A little bit. And the 
take that. Take this. Make a couple of holes. And we're going to put this in 350 oven for one hour. You want this to get up. The pork chops, they get up to 170. That's when they're done. We'll get back to you when it's over. Okay, it's been over an hour. Let's take a look where we are. Check this out a little bit. Yeah, we're good. Here you go. Nice meal. I had this covered until a few minutes ago. But you want to braise it. Now, tonight, we're going to have this. And we made our uh, string bean and potato salad. You can look up here. You can see the recipe for that. And that's it. Enjoy the meal. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks. See you soon.